How are organizations grappling with the gig economy and people looking for more flexibility and generally willing to leave for other experiences sooner and quicker yes. than they perhaps were in the past? So a gig economy um, worker, almost by definition, is a worker who th is not necessarily seeking full-time, long-term work from the one employer. And this is a reality now we have um, seen in, in the workforce people who basically are feel they're skilled enough to rotate from assignment to assignment. They don't necessarily want to start their own business and recruit employees and be in the business of what they do, but they feel like what they're ultimately seeking is more freedom and control and flexibility over their schedules and lives. And where in cases where they have skill sets that are portable and transferable, they're choosing to exercise that control and say, yes, I'll work with you for uh, a year or two or part time, but then I'm moving on. So what employers are, uh, how employers are dealing with this is it is becoming let's call it the gig economy workforce is, uh, or the non-employee portion of your workforce is becoming a greater percent of many companies' workforce. And what's partially going on is what we'll call an unbundling of the job. Where before, I may have given you a three-year role in a certain function and a certain set of responsibilities and that's what you filled. Now we're looking at, well, what are the assignments that make up your job? And perhaps we can take a number of those assignments and unbundle them and have one person complete one set of assignments on a contract basis and another person complete another set of assignments on a contract basis. And so companies are now realizing with the ability of technology, just like dating sites or matching sites, if you can match assignments, to qualified personnel, the more that these matching technologies enter into the workplace, the more we can unbundle the job and match assignments to qualified personnel. It's almost the uberization of jobs. And that's the big trend that we're seeing and what companies are actually grappling with. Is this a job or is this an assignment? Why should this be done by a full-time person? And jobs are also changing so quickly why should we lock ourselves into a full-time person? Perhaps this person is good to bring this job for the next year or two, and then the job has changed enough that maybe a better person would be more qualified. Are you seeing that this is a trend across both blue-collar and white-collar workers, or are you seeing it more prevalent in one type of job or skill? It's actually a trend that's becoming a lot more prevalent uh, in blue-collar workers, surprising. They, for, for most people. It's already prevalent in white collar because white collar skills are fairly transferable. That's why we have consulting companies and advertising agencies, who, a lot of assignment based work already that people are used to buying or used to buying white collar expertise by the, by the assignment. Um, what was challenging for uh, blue collar expertise is it's not as mobile or as easily discoverable. Right? Uh, blue collar folks aren't exactly all over LinkedIn advertising their wares. So we saw uh, one company in particular that we write about the book is a company called Field Nation. And it is actually a labor matching platform for blue collar workers. And what they realized was that blue collar skills are actually quite transferable, meaning if you could install um, a certain type of apparatus, you could probably be trained pretty quickly to install a different type of apparatus, like alarm systems or something. And the platforms like Field Nation are going to companies and say, why should you have a field force of your own? We will make sure that there's a, enough of a size of blue color skilled workers in our platform that should you need assignments completed in different parts of the country, you'll find them on our platform trained to your specs. So that's just one example of an emergence that we've seen, a proliferation that we've seen of blue-collar platforms.